Hello and welcome back to SRB Gaming, another episode of KSP Real Solar System today, and this would be episode 8. And we have another Mars landing today, uh, again in Realism Overhaul. So I'll tell you the original intent of this mission and then what actually happened. So the intent of the mission was to bring a two Kerbal lander, land on Mars, and return to orbit. Once they were in orbit, I would then send another transfer stage, connect with cast parts and then we would go back to Earth and I could re-enter using the lander pod because it has plenty of parachutes on it. That was the plan. Sadly, about halfway through the ejection burn from Earth's orbit, I realized that I didn't have enough fuel to come back, but I did have enough fuel to land. And it was, I was already uh, past escape velocity and I figured I'm just going to do this. So yeah, that's exactly what I'm doing right now. Realism overhaul, we're going to land on Mars. And on this uh, capsule we have two Kerbal capacities, a uh, tank, a Titan engine from the FASA mod, a uh, real fuels tank with, uh, I forgot the fuels in there, uh, normal landing legs and ladders, and uh, two drogue chutes, two main chutes, and those are using real chutes mod, so I can, I was able to tweak the altitude, which actually saved me, because if you watched the earlier video on Mars that I did, it was actually a uh, it was impossible for me to land with parachutes because they would not deploy. I, the altitude on Mars was just too high, there was not enough atmosphere, and I had to use the engine. Now this time I don't actually have enough fuel to use the engine, so if I would have done that, it would have just, it would have been horrible, I would have just crashed and died. But thankfully, with real chutes, I can tweak the altitudes, and I had the drogue and main chutes go up extremely high, and uh, pre-deployment and then main deployment, and then they didn't slow me down enough to land, but they slowed me down plenty enough they got my terminal velocity down to about 60 meters per second once I got to the surface, which was plenty, and uh, I used the rest of my fuel to burn. And you'll see at the end, that didn't go very well, because um, the parachutes were pulling me in all sorts of directions, and since SAS is very weak on realism overhaul, and I just have it for deep space maneuvering, um, I uh, kind of crash landed, I landed on my side, which was not good. And it also meant that the Kerbals can't leave, and you'll see that at the end, because the ship is actually tilted over. And uh, if they leave, the gravity might be so much that they can't get back on the ladder, and I don't want to risk that, so I didn't try to get them out. I'm going to have to send a rescue mission here, but uh, that's a good challenge, and I'll, I'll take that. So anyway, um, thank you for watching. Uh, hope you enjoyed it. The subscribe button will again be in the corner at the end of the video, so click it. Click that, it really helps the channel. Uh, like, comment below if you have any comments or suggestions, and thanks for watching. Hopefully I'll come back to Mars sometime and rescue James and Billy Lee Kerman, but uh, I would not call them doomed as poor Moonhat was. They're still going, so thanks for watching. See you later.